uh, cocoa producing countries, then you know it's it's very easy sometimes to say, oh, you know, we're going to go for uh, centrally fermented cacao, but maybe because of, of the logistics involved, it's it's something that's you know for the time being is not something that is realistic or that is uh, feasible within a certain period of time. So how can you uh, you guys how would you guys go about it? You know, would you would you uh, then go and work and uh, give workshops to uh, to different groups in different regions and and try to have like this uh, controlled uh, fermentation within a, within a small community. I mean, that, that's also a possibility, you know, not having this very big centralized facility, but having smaller facilities in, in, in smaller regions, that, that might be something uh, that uh, to be considered. That's uh, something we do in Costa Rica, for example, in very remote areas. And it, it works. It yeah. works. And you can yes. start where it works and then upgrade for other communities later. For example, because yeah. if you have already a quality cacao available, then you find the interesting clients and that will pull attraction for your other volumes later. And the thing is, you know, for, for these bigger markets that are able to absorb these uh, bigger volumes, uh, consistency is, is key. So uh, it's about having consistency in, in flavor, consistency in uh, fermentation, you know, how many violets, uh, what can they expect in terms of uh, moldiness, all of this. For them, consistency is, is all they, they, they talk about, you know, and when you send these people a sample, uh, they will be... Uh, it's not like the little chocolate maker who will smell it and say, "Oh, this one's uh, smoky. Oh, that's nice. Maybe I can I can uh, work with the smokiness, even though you know it is it is a, a, a defect." But a smaller chocolate maker will make it work one way or another. But the the bigger clients, no way. It's it's uh, in the end it's it's consistency that they're looking for, which is boring because you know cacao is not something that you that is because of its, its particular uh, particularities, because of its genetics. It's not something that, that you can expect always to taste the same. I think it's a very crazy uh, idea, but still, the industry is still thinks uh, within those terms. Yes, um, uh, I think the logistics